light, particle, wave, reflection, refraction, diffraction, interference, transmission. Just what is the nature of light? Is it a wave, or perhaps a flow of extremely small particles? These questions have long puzzled scientists. Let us study the matter, and discover the nature of light. Isaac Newton He thought that light was a particle, because the edges of the shadows it created, was extremely sharp and clear. About the same time, Christian Huygens believed that light was made up of waves vibrating up and down, perpendicular to the direction the light travels. This explained diffraction, and could be demonstrated through experiment. The accepted, and current belief, on the nature of light is that light, is a form of energy, and has a dual nature. This means that light, possesses both particle properties, and wave properties. A stream of particles coming through each slit, would come through independently of one another, striking the screen in localized regions, there are no fringe pattern, and the particles produce straight shadows. When a wave passes through a slit, or barrier, the waves spill over the edges of their obstructions, you can observe the waves bend into shadow. But through experiments it is observed, that light behaves like a wave. When traveling from a source, to the place where it is detected. Here is an illustration of the wave nature of light. When light passes through a narrow slit, there is diffraction, and it produces semicircular waves. Also, when the light waves passes through the two slits, there is interference, producing bright and dark bands on the screen. This is a result that would not be expected, if light consisted only of particles. Here is an illustration showing the particle nature of light. Light behaves as a particle, or photon when it is being emitted, or when being absorbed at a detector. This is the photoelectric effect. It is the effect that light incident on a metal, can eject electrons from it. Note, that if there was no light shining on the curved plate, there would be no current. A property of light is reflection. Reflection, occurs when light bounces back, after striking a barrier. One good example is reflection in a mirror. Here are the three things that affect how light is reflected. The surface of the object. the color of the object and the shape of the object here is the effect of the surface of the object on how light is reflected smooth shiny surfaces have a clear reflection and this is also called specular reflection while rough dull surfaces 
have a diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection is when light is scattered in different directions. Here is specular reflection. The clear, smooth surface makes clear reflection. While the here is diffuse reflection. The rough surface scatters light in different directions. Here is an illustration of clear reflection. From a smooth, water surface. While here is diffuse reflection. From a wavy, water surface. Ever notice that an asphalt driveway seems hotter on a summer day? than a concrete sidewalk? This occurs because light, that is not reflected from the surface of an object, may be absorbed by the object, and converted into thermal energy. To see how the shape affects the reflection of light, let's look at reflection from a mirror. An incident ray of light, will form an incident angle from the normal line. This normal line, is the perpendicular line from the surface. Then, the reflected ray of light produced will in turn also have an angle of reflection measured from the normal line. Light always reflects according to the law of reflection. The law of reflection, states that the angle of incidence, equals the angle of reflection. In other words, light gets reflected from a surface at the same angle it hits it. This illustration shows that the light from an ordinary flashlight, follows the law of reflection, when its light hits a reflective surface, like a mirror. There are typically three types of mirrors. The plane, or flat mirror. The concave mirror. And the convex mirror. First we have the plane mirror. It has a flat surface. In here, light is reflected straight back resulting in an upright image, that is the same size as the original object. Concave mirrors, are curved inward, like the inside of a bowl. If an object is very close to the mirror, light is reflected in a way that an enlarged, upright image is produced. If the object is very far away, the image is reduced in size and upside down. Concave mirrors, are curved outward. This results in an image, your eyes detect as upright, and reduced in size. The side mirrors on cars are convex mirrors, objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Here are examples of images in convex and concave mirrors. The upright image, from the convex surface of outside spoon bowl. The inverted image, from the concave surface of inside spoon bowl. Another property of light is refraction. It is the bending of a light, as it passes from one medium to another. This phenomena happens when light passes through substances with different densities. Its speed changes, and therefore it bends. When a straw is placed in water it looks like this. In this case, the light rays are slowed down by the water, and are bent, causing the straw to look broken. The two mediums in this example, are air, and water.
Another property of light is diffraction. It is the bending, spreading, and interference of light waves, when they go through a narrow opening. Light waves, can diffract through tiny slits. Radio waves, can diffract around hills, mountains, or even the whole planet. X-rays, can diffract around atoms. Transmission, is the passing of light through a medium. Transparent materials, allows all light to pass through. Translucent materials, allows only some light to pass. And opaque materials, does not allow light to pass.